Today we are showing a video of that it's inspired by me, but and Haley because it's something I do all the time and other people do all the time that she laughs at, cracks her stuff up. So what are you gonna? Do you want to explain what it is? Sure. So basically, I've observed people in my life um, that often use body language. Um, specifically, uh, different holds on one's hip. And I've observed that there's quite a few different variations of them. So we decided to figure out what hold means for, what am I trying to say? For what emotion? Yeah. So what hold of the hip is for what emotions? Because they mean different things. Yeah. It's pretty funny. So Angie... Uh, acted them all out with my help uh, as uh, directing her to do it. Kind of like a little coach. It was like a charade type thing. Yeah. And so we acted out each hip hold. We titled them and we said what they're used for. So the first one was the are you impressed hold. And what does that mean? Are you impressed? Like, look at me. I'm holding my hips and all my womanly attributes are pointing out. <laughs> exactly. And what was the next one? The next pose is, are we done yet? When that exemplifies feeling irritated, standing around too long in one position or in one place, and you just want to be done with it. And go home. It really bothers me waiting around. Yeah. I'm a master of the are we done yet hip hold. The third one is the take charge hip hold. Yes. And that means you mean business. When you're doing this pose, you mean business. You're the boss. And you're kind of perturbed, <laughs> I think. That basically, uh, yeah, pretty much. So this is the teacher. Yeah, and what does the teacher hip hold mean, and why why is it used? The teacher hip hold is when you know you're taking your student and you're taking a test or working on a project, and the teacher kind of leans over a little bit and she kind of you know pushes down her glasses and she's looking over down at your paper or whatever, like that. Yeah. But anyhow, Angie demonstrates it very well. I have a good pictorial memory from when I was a kid in grade school. Isn't that funny? It is. It's very funny. <laughs> the next one is we have the model pose. You know, all those typical poses that models do when they're walking down the runway. Typically, they use a gesture of a hand on the hip. And Angie demonstrates a model pose, a runway model pose quite well. Oh, well, thank you. I'm too sexy for my shirt. <laughs> okay, this one I came up with because it's funny to me. You see it a lot on cops videos. It's called the hip hold finger point slash the dispute lady. I think we all know the dispute lady on these types of videos. You know, like on cops or something, you right? Know, the lady's in her slippers, she's in her pajamas, she's pissed because she got woken up out of bed and now she has to talk to the cops. She's, there's tons of YouTube videos where, you know, this chick just, you know, she's pissed but she's holding her hip at the same time and the other finger's like wagging about like. <laughs> Here we have the bonus pose, mad. This is where your hands are crossed up across your chest and you're waiting for your kid to listen to you and behave. When typically when a parent does this pose, the kids know that you are mad and that you better listen or else. Or right? if your partner does it and it just means you're over it. Oh, well that too. I don't know. Anyhow, thank you guys for watching. 
Peace and love. Bye. Bye.